hello guys welcome to stack and traders think beyond limits today i will show you how to connect your xerox machine through network connection so let's start 5855 and 5955 the same setup okay so first you need a cat6 cable to connect your laptop or your computer with your machine you can also connect this cable to your router and do the same settings Okay, I've already connected the cable now we have to see the IP address of system and change your IP address of machine according to your laptop or your computer now open the network setting and click on network and sharing center then as we connected our machine through ethernet we have to open the properties of ethernet otherwise we can open the properties of wi-fi check details now you can see the ip address of your computer or your laptop okay now go into machine press the machine status button go into tools touch on guest and enter the admin next password double one double one done now we are in admin mode go into network setting and tcp ip setting turn off this dynamic addressing disabled now we can enter the ip address manually now see the IP address here we have 192.168.1.10 so you will enter here 192.168.1 and we have to change the last digit so we are entering here 11 in the laptop and 11 in the machine so this is the gateway address 192.168.1.1 subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 as you can see here on my laptop screen Now all the settings are done, click on OK, then finish the setup. Now you can go back, but one more thing, you have to check if whether the machine is online and offline, you can check it from here, okay, machine must be on online mode. Now as we created the ip address manually now we have to check the ip address is working or not so for that open any browser and click on upside on the url bar and enter the ip address of the machine not the computer the machine's ip address 192.168.1. 11 now you can see we have the Xerox work center web page okay now we know the connection established we have to download the latest drivers Xerox 5955 drivers click on first link Now scroll down and search for the PCL6 drivers.
here you can see the PCL6 drivers click on agree and download this driver start downloading open the containing folder and run this driver this is the whole setup you can just have to run this setup and click on next install click on yes now select the TCP IP connection as a printer using TCP IP address click on next okay uncheck this and enter the IP address now enter the IP address 192.168.1 and dot 11 click on next now open the control panel and device and printers Now select the model of your machine, click on next, then finish the setup. You can select whether you want to share the printer or not then finish the setup now here in device and printers we have our setup of machine right click on the machine and open the properties printer properties okay now we have to go in preferences setting to select the size okay this is default on ledger so we set on a4 and single side and the most important setting click on advance and disable the job id or banner paper this function allow machine to print an extra page of your computer's id okay turn it off so you don't have to waste extra paper with every command print test page and now go to the machine select job status now you can see here the test page from computer command okay the page is printed as you can see our network connection is complete so let's try another print I have a PDF file control P okay select the printer from the list Scroll down so you can see the Xerox 5955 PCL6. Okay, now I selected the printer I want to print. Okay, if you want to change any setting, size or double size, you can select. Then 
click on print oh as you can see the machine is showing misread paper is not correctly inserted into machine so let's check so we have uh, only one paper and uh, this paper is not a uh, good quality so we are now inserting the new and fresh paper from the new rim okay as we inserted the new paper in first tray okay click on confirm confirm and the printing is start special tip if you want your machine to run smoothly and without misread always use fresh and good quality papers not the rusty papers or uh, below 60 gram papers always use 70 to 75 or best quality is 80 to 90 grams thanks for watching like and subscribe